Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is find words containing character. So in this question, we're given a string array called words. and We're also given a character X and we have to return all the indices representing the words that contain the character X. So we have to return a list because the return type is a list of integers. And this is the input array given to us and a character X. So here in this case, you can see there are two words inside the input words and we have to check if E is present, which is the given character inside any of the words. We have to check if E is present inside this word. Yes, E is present. So index position of this is zero and this is one. E is present. So we add zero to our output. We have to check if E is present inside this. Yes, E is present here. So we add that index also into the result output and we reach the end of the array. So we return zero as one, zero comma one, which are the indices of those words as the output. Now let's take the second example and see how we are forming the output. So I've taken the second example given to us. We are given the words array and the character is A. We have to check what all words are having the letter A inside those. So we start our iteration from the zeroth index. We check if A is present inside this. We iterate through every word again through check all the characters inside that word. We iterate through each word again from left to right. We check if A is present. Yes, A is present. So we add this into our output list. Output list is initially empty. So add that index zero into the output list. In the next iteration, I is pointing at one. We iterate through all the characters inside the word. We check if any of the characters is equal to A. No, it is not. So that is not a valid index. So we move I forward. Now I is pointing at two. We iterate through all the characters inside that word. We check if any of the character is a, yes, it is a, so we add that index, which is two into the result output and we move I. Now I is pointing at three. We check if any, we iterate through all the letters inside that word. We check if any of the characters is equal to a, no, none of the characters is equal to a. So it is not a valid index. So, and we move I forward. Now I is pointing at four, which is greater than the length of the array. So we end our iteration and whatever is present inside the output list will be returned as the output. So zero comma two is our output list. So we return it as the output, which is matching our expected output here, for example, two. Now let's implement these steps in a Java program. Since the return type is a list of integers, I'm creating a list of integers called result word. So that will be our output. I'm iterating through the input words given to us. So this is the words array. So we start to iterate from zero to end of the words array. So we start at zero from zero, one until the end. So we're iterating through the words array and now I'm accessing each word. So I is pointing at zero. So I is zero, right? Initially I is zero. So we access words of zero. Words of zero is lead. So we are converting lead into a character array. We're converting into a character array and we are accessing each character CH at a time. So CH is now pointing at L. And we are checking if ch, which is now pointing at L, is equal to x. x is the value e. L is not equal to e, so it won't enter and it will go for the next character. Next character, ch is pointing at e. ch, now we check if ch is equal to x, e is equal to e. So this condition is passing. So it will enter and add i into the result words. So i is equal to 0. So we add that 0 into the words array and we break. So we come out of the inner for loop and in the next iteration, I will be incremented to one. So zero will become one. Now let's implement the same steps. Words of one is equal to code. So we're converting that code word into character array here. So this will become code and we are accessing CH. So CH is now pointing at C. We check if C is equal to E. No, they're not same. So increment CH. We check if O is equal to E. No, so it this condition won't pass. So it will go for the next letter. Next letter is D. So CH is D and X is E. Both are not same. So increment CH. CH is equal to E and X is also E. E is equal to E. So this condition passes and it will go inside and add I. I is equal to one. So one will be added and break. Break will come out of the inner loop and in the next iteration, i is equal to 2 and the length of the words is also 2 so 2 is less than 2 so this condition fails and you come out of the outer loop because there is no other word inside the words array we reached all the words and finally whatever is present inside this list which is 0 comma 1 
this will be returned as the output. So the output is 0, 0,1 which is matching our expected output. So the time complexity of this approach is O of m into n where m is the length of the words array so number of words and n is the length of the longest word inside that word and the space complexity is O of 1 because we are not using any extra space to solve the output we are just declaring a output list which is not counted towards the space complexity so space complexity is O of 1 that's it guys thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video